Brad Pitt is determined to pursue the lawsuit against Angelina Jolie. The ongoing legal battle between Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie over the French winery they both once owned is reaching a crucial stage. The legal dispute between Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie regarding their joint ownership of the French winery Chateau Merival continues to capture public attention. Brad Pitt recently filed new legal documents accusing Jolie of selling her shares in the winery as a form of retaliation, following an unfavorable custody ruling. He claims that Jolie's actions are intentional, unlawful, and intended to cause significant harm to him while benefiting herself. Brad Pitt is determined to pursue the lawsuit against Angelina Jolie. However, Jolie's lawyer responded by citing Jolie's previous allegations of abuse against Pitt, arguing that Pitt demanded Jolie's silence about the alleged abuse as a condition for completing the winery sale transaction. The allegations of abuse and assault stemming from a 2016 airplane incident have been the key point of contention between the former couple. Despite an FBI investigation and the result of no charges against Pitt, Jolie's accusations continue to resurface in their legal proceedings. The arrangement for the custody of their minor children, following their initial divorce filing in 2016, remains unresolved despite their legal status as legally single individuals declared in 2019. Jolie's sale of her shares in Chateau Merival to Tenut Del Mondo in 2021 further escalates the legal battle. Pitt claims that the transaction is unlawful as he and Jolie had an agreement not to sell without mutual consent. However, Jolie disputes this, asserting that no such agreement existed and that she sold her portion of the winery to achieve financial independence from Pitt. Chateau Merival is an estate and winery located in the southern region of France, holding significant financial and personal value for the former couple. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie met while filming Mr. and Mrs. Smith, 2005. Pitt subsequently divorced his then-wife Jennifer Aniston to pursue a relationship with Jolie. They got married in 2014 and have six children together. In 2016, Angelina Jolie filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Three years before the Mr. and Mrs. Smith breakup, the actor transferred a 10% stake in Mondo Bongo to Nouvelle. Since then, the Hollywood stars have equal ownership stakes in Quimicum. According to the lawsuit obtained by the Daily Mail, Chateau Merival falls under the ownership of Quimicum. This is a joint company of the former couple, where Brad Pitt's company, Mondo Bongo, owns 60% of the shares, and Angelina Jolie's company, Nouvelle, holds 40%. The lawsuit alleges that Angelina is attempting to sell her 50% stake without consulting her ex-husband, while the law states that Brad has the first right of refusal to buy these shares. Brad Pitt's legal team accuses the actress of benefiting from the efforts, time, and money invested by Brad and his business partners to develop the joint company. Furthermore, the lawsuit claims that the transfer of the 10% stake in Mondo Bongo mentioned above is null and void as it was sold for a nominal price of 1 euro. According to Brad Pitt's side, that amount is not considered serious in a transaction as required by Luxembourg law. Additionally, the lawsuit also points out that Nouvelle has not acted in the best interests of Quimicum over the past four years by failing to approve annual reports and systematically extending the term of the manager. A separate source from Page Six criticizes Angelina for attempting to circumvent the law and evade obligations. Meanwhile, a source from the Daily Mail emphasizes that Angelina's continuous actions targeting Brad are revenge-driven. Chateau Merville Estate includes a castle and approximately 405 hectares of land. This property holds special significance for the former couple as it was the location of their secret wedding in 2014. According to the lawsuit, the estate is valued at 140 million euros, equivalent to 164 million United States dollars.